A fresh wave of concerns been raised over a controversial key U.S. military base in Kyrgyzstan after the country underwent its first peaceful transfer of power in the republic's history. The new president expressed his desire to see its closure, fearing the facility makes the country a target. Artis Oksana Boyko reports. They call it Operation Enduring Misery. Several times a day, U.S. military planes take off from an airport near the Kyrgyz capital, Bishkek, their engines generating a lot of anger among the locals. It's so noisy here. I can barely sleep. Back in Soviet times, the village of Mramarne was famous across Kyrgyzstan for its gigantic watermelons. But ever since the Americans landed here 10 years ago, locals say the quality of their crops has been steadily declining. Like most of his neighbors, Fyodor Nikolaevich is convinced Americans are dumping fuel on the fields surrounding the base, which its commanders deny. I watch the U.S. planes come and go several times a day. I know their schedule to a T. The noise is disturbing, but I sort of got used to it. What's really bad is that they are killing nature, the fields and the crops. And people's health is getting worse too. The Kyrgyz air base represents the shortest and the most efficient route to deliver youth supplies and servicemen into Afghanistan. Nicknamed the gateway to hell, it's the last safe stop on the way to combat. But for the residents here, getting rid of the base is a battle in its own right. America has many enemies. It's fighting wars in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya. What if its enemies want to attack us? One former Kyrgyz president sent the Americans an eviction notice, only to negotiate a threefold lease increase a few months later. The following year, Kurmanbek Bakif was ousted from office on allegations of corruption some related to payments from the U.S. base. Mistrust and even hostility between the locals and U.S. troops abroad are hardly anything new. Many countries are hosting American bases despite sometimes very strong objections of the indigenous population. But here in Kyrgyzstan, the issue is so politically charged that it has already shown the power of making or breaking one's presidency. Yet America's presence in the region has its little benefits too. Military gear and accessories have long found their way to Bishkek's bazaars, thanks to a shady network of buyers and sellers. Second-hand used military uniform is held in very high regard here. The owner of this business, who doesn't want us to show his face, says he usually gets it from American troops on the ground for a couple hundred bucks, and he sells it to a wide range of clients, many of whom come from all over the former Soviet Union. According to the base's commanders, the Americans do try to be nice. In addition to $60 million a year for the lease, U.S. personnel in Kyrgyzstan have done volunteer work and raised money to renovate a local school. And the locals are appreciative. They say they have nothing against the Americans per se, except that they have long outstayed their welcome. Aksana Boyka, RT, Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan.